Okay, YouTube guys and gals, I'm uh, beginning to do a build out for my closet and some more storage. I figured I'd share at least the beginnings with you so you get an idea and hopefully you follow along. I'll flip this around in a second, show you exactly what I'm doing. Currently, I only have the base built and I have it built out. Uh, to the distance that's required for me to keep my deep cycle batteries underneath as well as cover the wheel well and add a little storage but not so far out that it limits my under bed storage I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about so here's the current closet situation and you can see what I built out in the platform down below uh, behind this tool bag I just have in place are a couple of deep cycle battery holders and a little bit of storage to the side. I'd get a smaller uh, bin that I can put underneath there that will uh, fit in perfectly. The one dimensional restraint that I have is that I want to be able to slide these uh, storage bins in and out from underneath my my bed here there's, there's the bed the right next to that bin you can see I have a generator so I could I could pull this bin out slide the generator out and pull it out behind that are two more bins so there's plenty of storage underneath the bed but I'd like to have access to them also you have the platform there'll be some extra area for shelving I have a safe that's lag bolted into the uh, frame of the vehicle and in that I can store incidentals whether uh, you know if I'm leaving the vehicle for some time I could put my PS2 or my ham radio or whatever in there something to just keep it a little a little safer from anybody that might break in. As you can see, I'm installing the Viper alarm as well. That should help things out. Above that, um, I currently have some blankets and gym clothes stacked up. I'll end up putting shelving in, in this area all the way down to the base uh, for additional storage. And I may even, I'm thinking I'll probably put something right in front of the safe that will will swing out and allow me access to the safe and abo up above my closet rod it's much longer than I need for storage um, as you can see it's just you know, plenty of room here I will probably uh, uh, I'll cut my shelving or my uh, closet rod down to some size and then have vertical storage through this region because I would like to be able to have a niche for a coffee pot other items that could slide back in here and store vertically as well as my inverter I'm going back and forth I want the inverter accessible so I can turn it on and off with the, uh, the front panel buttons and um, one of them, one of the one of the outlets. There's three outlets here, and one of them will be permanently connected to power the outlets within the vehicle. And then the entire front face of this will be clo closed off with a, a door that will open up, as well as probably a second access panel for the inverter and as I said the the items stored vertically then over here you can see this this width here is going to become a uh, a rack for storing canned goods and spices and such so I'll have, I'll have multiple shelves across here with uh, uh, aluminum bands so that I can insert the, the item behind it and it won't fall outward but that's the plan, and uh, hopefully you guys stick around and take a look, see what you think. Make sure to uh, 
make sure to subscribe and like and whatever you do just keep rambling on